In this video, we'll be looking at the intersection of two lines written in their vector equations. In particular, we'll be seeing how to recognize when there are no solutions. Now, here we're asked to find the point of intersection, if there is one, of the two lines x, y equals to 1, 2 plus alpha times 1, negative 2, and x, y equals to 3, negative 6 plus beta times the direction vector, negative 2, 4. So the first thing we do, as always, is we write each of these two line equations in their parametric form. For the first line, that would be x equals to 1 plus alpha, and y is equal to 2 minus 2 alpha. For the second line, the parametric equations would be x equals to 3 minus 2 beta, and y is equal to negative 6 plus 4 beta. Now that we've done that, we're going to equate each of the expressions for x in the two lines. So that would be x equals to 1 plus alpha equated with x equals to 3 minus 2 beta. And we do the same for the y. So y equals to 2 minus 2 alpha and y equals to negative 6 plus 4 beta. That leads us to the following two equations. 1 plus alpha equals to 3 minus 2 beta and 2 minus 2 alpha equals to negative 6 plus 4 beta. We now have two simultaneous equations. We rearrange these so that the unknowns alpha and beta are all on the same side of the equations. So that would be alpha plus 2 beta equals to 2, as well as 2 alpha plus 4 beta equals to 8. And we're going to name each of these two equations, so we'll call this equation 1 and the second one equation 2. Now the first thing we'll attempt to do is to eliminate, say, alpha inside the second equation. And to do this, we'll subtract 2 times the first equation from the second equation. So I'll just write equation 2 becomes equation 2, so itself, minus 2 times equation 1. So doing this, the first equation would of course remain unchanged, so that's alpha plus 2 beta equals to 2. And the second equation, well, now we have 2 alpha minus 2 alpha, 0, and 4 beta minus 4 beta would be 0 as well. So we have 0 on the left-hand side. If we subtract 2 times the right-hand side from the right-hand side of equation 2, that would be 8 minus 4, which is 4. So we now see that our equation 1 is the same as always, and our equation 2 is 0 equals to 4. Now this, of course, is mathematically inconsistent. We have 0 equals to 4, which of course is untrue. When this occurs, it means that there are no solutions. And graphically what this means is that the two lines are parallel. So we write the two lines are parallel. And now, it won't always be 0 equals to 4. It could be 2 equals to 6, or 5 equals to negative 10. Anything that's mathematically inconsistent in this way means that the two lines we're dealing with are parallel. The two lines will therefore never intersect, and there are therefore no points of intersection and no solutions. So remember, when you see 0 equals to 4, or 0 equals to k, where k is some non-zero number, that's what we're dealing with.